This week, Andor gets a teaser trailer, Grogu takes the stage, and more from Star Wars Celebration Anaheim. We're backstage at Star Wars Celebration Live because we live here now. Let's get to the news before they make us leave. The Lucasfilm Studio Showcase kicked off day one with some of the biggest news from the whole weekend. We got our first look at Andor with a teaser trailer that has us pumped for this Imperial Age spy thriller. A live choir performed Duel of the Fates to welcome Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen to the stage on a very merry Obi-Wan Kenobi series premiere day and a special appearance by John Williams. And you know we had reveals. During the panel, the all-new series Star Wars Skeleton Crew was announced, as well as premiere dates for The Mandalorian and Ahsoka, both arriving in 2023. And that wasn't the only Mandoverse news for the weekend. Fans at the Mando Plus panel caught an extended look at some new footage from Season 3. Spoilers, we can't show it here. And the first look at Ahsoka, including a hint at Sabine in live action and the announcement of Natasha Lubordizzo in the role. Plus, Grogu made an appearance. We also got our first look at Light and Magic, the new Disney Plus docuseries, heading to the streaming service this summer with a behind-the-scenes look at the birth of Industrial Light and Magic. And there's even more Star Wars animation coming our way with Tales of the Jedi, the new short series exploring two paths, the stories of Ahsoka Tano and Count Dooku, and a brand new Bad Batch trailer that has us pumped for more time with Clone Force 99. Speaking of trailers, the debut of the trailer for Star Wars Jedi Survivor means Cal Kestis and our baby BD-1 are coming back to the gaming console near you for a sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. The five luminous authors from Star Wars The High Republic held court and debuted several new covers and concept art pieces from Phase 2, including a first look at the art of Star Wars The High Republic and a look at the Nameless and the Leveler. Creepy. Plus, the era is expanding with a new animated series for younglings, Young Jedi Adventures, heading to Disney Plus and Disney Junior next year. And of course, we've got toys galore coming your way, including this amazing LEGO BD-1, Reva's lightsaber from HasLab, and the amazing Lola animatronic from Hasbro from Obi-Wan Kenobi series streaming now on Disney Plus. That's far from all the news this week, but if you, like me, have been living in the Anaheim Convention Center this weekend, you're tired, your voice is starting to give out, and you just really want to lay down, which you, like me, can do. We'll be watching all the fun from the Star Wars Celebration live stage via the StarWars.com live stream on the Star Wars YouTube channel, and all the news roundups, recaps, and highlights from the StarWars.com editorial team. And with that, we are going home. That's it for this week, but for more on these stories and other news from around the galaxy, check out StarWars.com, and be sure to join us right here for This Week in Star Wars every Thursday. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.